Hi again, everybody, and greetings from the insurance capital of the world. I'm Dan Horde. He is Chuck Mayshock. We are in Hartford, Connecticut, which will also be the site of the American Conference Tournament in March. But we've got regular season basketball coming up early tomorrow. 11 in the morning as the Bearcats take on the defending national champs, UConn, a team that no longer has Shabazz Napier and comes into the game with a record of 8-5. and five. There's no doubt about it that they're 8-5, and five, but again, great basketball clubs on their scheduling causes two or three of those losses, so don't judge it by an 8-5 record. You better look inside the stats and look at that carefully because, to me, the best guard in the league is still Boatwright and he's half the Bee Brothers. I can remember the Washington Redskins and the Killer Bees. They've got the double Bee Brothers. So he is one of them. The other is a youngster who's only seven foot tall. That's all. Well, he rebounds a basketball, Dan. His and name that's Brima we're talking that's about. That's Brima, and he plays a lot, like 29 to 32 minutes a game. But somebody told me he had 40 points one day in a game. He did, and in that game, he was 13 for 13 from the field and 14 for 16 from the line. That's reminiscent of your high school efforts. I guess, well, if you say so. Well, I'm saying so because there's none better than my partner, but you're right. It's a very, very deep club, a very, very solid club. And just as always with Connecticut, somebody seems to score eight or nine or ten points to carry them along in case one of the important players in their program isn't scoring that particular night and we've been beat by lesser than their best in the past. The Bearcats number one in the conference in scoring defense, Connecticut number two in the conference in scoring defense. I don't think it's going to be a high scoring game but the Bearcats have a four game winning streak Chuck and during this winning streak they've shot better than 50 percent as a team. The offense is coming along. No doubt about it. I think it's maturity. I think it's patience. But it all adds up shot selection to me as a former coach. I like the way they're having value for the basketball. They're not shooting a deep three anymore. They're not forcing inside shots. And we're led by one of the great centers. And I do mean great. I know he's just a junior. But uh, Mr. Ellis has two years counting this one ahead of him. Right now he's shooting 63% from the floor. That's a pretty good field goal percentage, second in the league. And I, I say this, we will carry ourselves well tomorrow against this ball club. All right, my recommendation tomorrow is 11 a.m. Have yourself a great Saturday brunch. Eggs, bacon, and Mayshock. Our pregame coverage starts at 1030 on 700 WLW. We'll have complete postgame coverage right here on Bearcats TV.